All right, so in this video, we're going to be answering the question, what are parametric equations? Okay, what do they allow us to do? What are their uses, right? So we have this curve C up here, okay? And you'll notice that this curve does not pass the vertical line test. So we would not be able to describe this as y equaling a function of x, okay? Simply because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. So what we would have to do to be able to graph something like this, okay, is describe the motion of x and the motion of y separately in two different functions, okay? It would be x as a function of t, okay, t is going to be a new variable, and y as a function of t, okay? Now t is called the parameter, okay? These are parametric equations, right? So t is going to be a parameter. And just as y would be a function of x, if x is a function of t, we would have something like 2t in here, right? It's going to be a function with t in it. And here, you know, we'd have, let's say, 3t minus 2. Okay, so those are our parametric equations. That's describing all the values of x for, you know, let's say this parameter is time, okay? Let's say it's time because it's t, right? It's going to give you, you're going to input a time and it's going to give you what x value. You're going to input a time here and get a y value. So together, you know, like say you put in uh, that the time is 1. So x of 1 would be 2. And y of 1 would be, well, you put a 1 in here, 3 minus 2 is going to be 1. So you get an xy pair, right? You'll get an xy pair here of 2 comma 1 at time 1, okay? So then you would plot that up on the, you know, up on the curve wherever that fits in, right? So one last thing that I should mention, since time only goes in one direction, we actually have to give this curve a direction, okay? We need to show where it's going as time increases, okay? So let's say it was going up as time increases, we would draw an arrow, right? And you could just test that. You know, okay, say time is, you know, you, you, you can try time as one, time is two, okay? Well, where did it go? Did it go down the curve or up the curve? Something like that, okay? So, you know, that kind of answers the question. Those are, these are parametric equations, okay? You're describing X and Y independently because you're not able to graph Y as a function of X. Okay, and that's why it's allowing us to describe a curve that we couldn't normally describe using y as a function of x. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for parametric and polar in the next video in the series. See you soon.